Happy January, everybody. Happy dry January. Back in September, I significantly cut back my alcohol consumption. So I rarely drink anymore. And what I've found in trying to find alternatives is that there is a good amount of non-alcoholic uh, beverages out there that mimic certain alcohols and beers that I used to enjoy, and that's great. So I'd like to start a series of highlighting some of my favorite beverages when I come across them. Um, I'd also like to encourage bars and social establishments to carry more variety of non-alcoholic beverages. You know, when I go out, there are some bars and restaurants that do a great job of offering um, non-alcoholic alternatives that are super tasty and have good ingredients. Um, and then there's others that, you know, might have one option like an old duels or, um, you know, a Heineken zero, which I actually really enjoy. But what I'm seeing, especially looking at the market for non-alcoholic beverages, it's exploding. I mean, the demand is there. So I hope with this series, I can start a conversation about including more non-alcoholic beverages on menus. And I understand that there's a risk and trade-off for business owners, but would encourage business owners um, to try it out for a short period of time and see how it goes. Because I know that the bars and restaurants that are around me here in Baltimore that do have a variety of non-alcoholic beverages, they do um, sell through those. So let's get into it. So one brand that I've really enjoyed is called Athletic Brewing. And they have a ton of different varieties of non-alcoholic beer, everything from a light beer to stouts to sours to an entire line where they just experiment with different flavors and things like that. They, either, they even have um, a hopped water, basically like sparkling water that has the essence of hops, which I really enjoy as well. So for this segment, I'd like to highlight a stout by Athletic Brewing called All Out. It has become one of my favorite stouts um, in the non-alcoholic brewing market. And honestly, it tastes just like a stout that has alcohol. Um, I would put this up against uh, any stout that I've had in the past. I really would, it tastes that good. And what I love about Athletic Brewing is that all of their beer, which is real beer, they actually brew the beer and then they have a 15 step proprietary process that extracts the alcohol, um, but does so by retaining the flavor profile of the beer, which is amazing. Because from what I understand in the past with non-alcoholic uh, drinks, um, usually you would have to boil out the alcohol, uh, which significantly impairs and changes the taste profile. So, for example, the ingredients on this are simply water, malt, oats, wheat, hops, and yeast, and that's it. 90 calories, which is less than a typical stout, or you know, really any non-alcoholic beer has less calories because a lot of the alcohol um, carries the calories. So you remove the alcohol, you remove a large portion of the calories, and then it has 21 carbohydrates, a gram of protein, no fat. And that's it. So I'm gonna pour this into my athletic brewing glass that I got for free when I bought a bunch of these um, over their Black Friday deal over Christmas or Thanksgiving. And let's give this a try for you because I've already tried this, but it's great and I wanna highlight it. 
Um, I also, if you'd like to explore more of Athletic Brewing's website and all their offerings, you can go to the link in my profile. And if you are a first time shopper on their website, you get $10 off. Um, and they have subscriptions where you can get more money off and things like that. Uh, but if you are so inclined to purchase and explore uh, Athletic Brewing, please use my link because it's an affiliate link and I get a little kickbacks if you buy some stuff. So there's that too. <laughs> so cheers, it's pretty dark, like a, like a deep, um, a deep colored stout, nice head, just you know, regular pour. So right up front, coffee, nuts. And then it comes in with a little bit of chocolate. Very smooth drink. It tastes like a really well-brewed stout. Um, if I did a blind tasting with you and didn't tell you there's no alcohol on this, I, unless you have a very sophisticated palate, I'd be shocked um, if you even knew the difference. So, um, again, all out stout. If there are any restaurant or bar owners watching this, um, it would be great if you could carry this. Um, kudos to spots in Baltimore like Max's Tap House and Sally O's, just off the top of my head, who carry um, a wide range of non-alcoholic beers. Um, even Johnny Rad's and Snake Hill, they have a bunch of different offerings. So thank you to those establishments for offering alternatives to alcohol because though I don't really drink that much anymore, I still like to go out and I like to eat food and I wanna spend money and I just don't wanna buy a soda and lime every time I go out. So I appreciate you and I hope um, if you are a bar or restaurant owner watching this, please explore uh, through your distributor or whomever how you can offer more non-alcoholic uh, beers or, you know, even cocktails. There's a lot of different non-alcoholic spirits that are out there made from different essences and botanicals and things like that. And those are great, too. So, mm, this is really good. So again, All Out Stout by Athletic Brewing. If you wanna check it out, go to the link in my bio. Again, if you are a first time shopper on their website, you get $10 off. And if you wanna subscribe, I think you get something like 50% off, I think. Check out the site. Um, when you go to that link, it's just a couple scrolls down, you can find this particular brew, which again is fantastic. Even if you just want to do a dry January or cut back a little bit, it's honestly a great alternative. So cheers to you if you're doing dry January or you're just curious about the non-alcoholic market. And thank you, Athletic Brewing, for this amazing all-out stout. Cheers.